post and at the end i will uh, solve each and every query so before i start i will share my screen okay so first of all this training is about application packaging before we begin we should know that what is application packaging and why it is required so basically we will be doing the application packaging for windows profile so when we do the application packaging it is basically we are customizing the application as per the user requirements so the customer or the user who is uh, whom for whom you are working they will be giving you the software and you have to customize that software or the application as per the organization standard and as per the customer needs if we say that why it is required so for each and every company requires an application we know that uh, we have been using the application in our android or in our iphone app iphone mobile phones also so this all applications are available in the play store or in the ios store so that you can download it and you can use that particular application but someone at the back end is doing that application is making that application available for the end users for the normal users so that they can use it the same case works in the organization when you are there for that organization you will be the responsible person if you are the application packager you have to make the application available to that end users or to the customer so that they can use that application it can be in a way that it can be automatically installed or it can be installed by clicking on the install button so we have a software center portal wherein the application will be available and user will click on install to install that application if it is in required mode this means that application will be installed in users machine without any user knowledge or without any user information in the back end it will be installed and there will be no prompts so there are two ways which can be an application will be installed to users machine now uh, we say that who all can do this application packaging training so if i say that who first of all this application packaging is for uh, windows and uh, we have it for android also we have it for mac also but i will be giving the training for windows profile the person who can do this uh, training is first is the fresher any fresher uh, either he can be a btech or he can be a bca or he can be a bsc so any of the person who has this particular qualification they can do this application packaging training as a fresher they can start their career and they can enhance as as per the training and as per the market trend they can go with a very good way and it is it the application packaging is something which is never going to go out of the market because it cannot be automated what we are doing as an application packaging via tool is itself an automated one there are no such tools which can automate this application packaging so this is something which is never going to go out of the market yes the technology will enhance uh, more and more but it is not something that ai will come and it will replace this application packaging so this is one of the technology which is best to grow with and yes there are other additional uh, additional uh, uh, profiles also which you can add it up so that you can have a more knowledge but as a fresher if you start with you can have a uh, salary of starting 3.5 to 4 lakhs as a fresher and more and more you will gain an experience as per your experience you can have a double salary and even you can have three times of salary as well up to 10 years so the salary range for this application packaging is very 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 good
it is something which you can grow and you can have more and more salaries if you have an experience of this application packaging because it is something which you which i will also tell you about the scripting and you have a scripting knowledge you have the way to know uh, how to do the application so it adds up to your skill and due to which you can have very good salary the second is the person who is working in the service desk as l1 or l1.5 so any person because the person who is working in the service desk they will be having the knowledge about how to install the application how to uninstall the application how to resolve the issue how to interact with customer to resolve the issue thus it makes a very good thing for the service desk person to know about this application packaging because they will be able to uh do this packaging in a more good way because they have a knowledge so they can grow with this and they can work as a l2 level because the application packaging is something which is of two levels l2 and l3 the l1 is basically support given by the service desk then is the person who is working in the command center so the person who is working on the command center they will be having the knowledge of how the data is are going to run how the commands are going to run so they can also take uh, this application packaging training and they can switch from one profile to the another profile because the l1 person will be also working in l0.5 or l1 level so if they want to grow and if they want to move it from the l0.5 to l1 to l2 l3 then they can take this application packaging training the second is the ccm so the person who is working in a ccm because application packaging is something which at the end li gets linked to the ccm because the ccm person will be doing the deployment of this application so they will be doing the deployments they will be doing the testing via the software center by doing the installation on installation so the person who is at the back end who is giving them the application they are application packagers so if they gain if they gain a uh, experience in application packaging along with ccm and then they add it up then they can have a very good uh knowledge and then they can have a very good salary also because the person who is having both the knowledge for them the market trend is very good with in terms of the salary and then is the new technology which is the intune so ccm and intune both are used for the deployment purpose of the application intune has very, uh, intune has too many modules but intune also have a module of deploying the application so a person who knows the think that how to do the deployment through an intune and if they gain a knowledge in application packaging and again if they merge both the experience again the market trend is very good for them if you see the jobs yes there are a jobs which respect to also application packaging but there are also a jobs with respect to application packaging and sccm application packaging and intune it is something that 30 30% of thing is there if you have a uh, knowledge of application packaging then 30% of job is for application packaging and if you grow with application packaging and sccm again 30% of jobs are there for application packaging and SCCM. ccm and then again application packaging and intune if you merge it again that 30% of job is there and the jobs will be always there and if you are a fresher or if you have a experience between 1 to 7 to 8 years then it is very good for you to switch to this application packaging profile because you will be uh, not getting just by by extreme knowledge of application packaging because the way and uh, more and more you will work in application packaging more and more uh, level of application packaging gets increased because there is a complexity of the definition of this application we also have a simple application we also have a medium application and we also have a complex application so the person who is working as a fresher for them the teams have all the teams always assign a simple because they are the fresher so they can start their career with a salary of 3.5 to 4 lakhs working as a 
uh, application packager and doing the simple packages and then they more and more the salary uh, more and more the experience they will gain they will also be doing uh, with the medium application and with the complex application and like that they can grow their skill set and they can earn a lot in the field of application packaging so this is what is all about that what is application packaging how we are going to do it who can do it now the thing is how this application packaging comes what is the uh, mode of that uh, application packaging so this is something like a customer gives us the source file so there are certain types of source file which is provided to us and we do the customization so now i will show you that what type of source files are provided and what are the basic customization so there are many customizations but as of now i'll just show you that what are the basic customization so that if the person person who is here and who are the working professionals they can uh, see in their organization they can know that what exactly the application packaging is doing uh, application packager is doing it and how they are customizing because it looks very simple that the yes the application packager is doing something but inside it it is very depth and there are many things which the application packager do but it is not much visible because the person do not have enough knowledge of it so there are few uh, set of source file when we do the application packaging so the source files are exe msi and loose files so the exe files are the executable files or we also say at legacy setup so this exe files are something which uh, the person gives us the require uh, the requirement comes that this is the source file and accordingly we have to customize the exe application the second one is the msi which we call as microsoft windows installer so this is a windows technology this is the microsoft technology name named as microsoft windows installer and the last one is the loose files so the uh, thing the application uh, it wouldn't be an application but it would be in the form of a loose files and you have to wrap it up and by wrapping you have to create a msi file because at the end uh, we are working uh, for windows and the thing is that we have to uh, see the technology which is more uh, easier to do it and more uh, benefits we have and that is for the microsoft windows installer which is msi so what we do we wrap it up and and we create an msi file so there is a process we have a tool through which we can capture it so i'll just show you few exe applications then i will show you for the msi so this is how the exe files look uh, so you can see that the extension is dot exe so when the application is installed in your machine you wouldn't be knowing that how it is installed but at the back end this is something which is developed by the developer so which is called as application packaging and we as a application packager we customize it so what we do is the repackaging part we do the customization so there are many customization which we do it via writing a command or uh, and the command will be written on the scripts they are few types of scripts which we will be discussing when we will be doing this application packaging training so via this we will do the customization so if um, you say that what are the customization which we do as an application packager so uh, if we are installing any application if we double click on any application and you are doing in the microsoft in, in your machine so what you have to do you have to select few options like i agree the license agreement or it is a next option you have to click on next or you have to select any check box so there are few things which you have to do it while you are doing it so when you are creating an application you are creating 
in a such a way that user do not have to do it and with just one click user would be able to install the application and it is not only for one user but it can be for n number of users who are present in your organization thus it saves a lot of time a lot of effort and by a single click it installs the application so just like an example that in our android in our android smartphones we have many application list listed so it is for other users also who are using the smartphone just you have to click on install and that application will be installed in your smartphone but somebody would be doing it in the back end so same thing you are doing for the users who are working in your organization you are just making it customized so that he can install that application so the source file first source file is exe the second source file is msi so these are the few msi files which is the microsoft windows installer so there is an advantage and disadvantage of exe and msi uh, which we will be discussing when we will be doing the training but all uh, for everything because we have a different set of source files so every set of source file have few advantages and disadvantages then we have a loose files so loose files will be in this term so uh, there is no such exe which will install this application so you have to make that some installer so that you can make the application installable to the user so this is what is the uh, set of uh, loose files now uh, once the loose files is done we have to do the customization so the customization is done via the script so i'll just show you that what are the few customizations we do uh, just for an example uh, for this one orca so orca uh, is one of the tool for application packaging so uh, you can see that in the orca uh, if we have opened the control panel and if we see the orca we have three options enabled uh, which is uninstall change repair if i show you some other applications only uninstall is visible uh, if i show any other only change is visible so as per the organization standard or uh, organization standard says that we have to disable all these three options because if you have made it enable for user user would be able to install the application or uninstall it by itself so we have to disable all these three options so so this is the basic customization which we do the second customization is that removal of shortcut from the desktop so if we install any application the application shortcuts get installed in the start menu and in the desktop so we cannot have so many desktop shortcuts so because it will look too messy and this is something which is the standard of an organization that we have to remove the desktop shortcut so this is the second basic customization the third basic customization customization is that uh, you would have also seen that if you are installing any application it asks for a restart so this is something which you have to suppress as an application packager so this is done via a command line that you have to suppress that application um, uh, suppress uh, that restart suppress so they, like that there are many such customizations which we can do it as an application packager now uh, once we have created the uh, we have do the uh, we have done the modifications then we have the scripting part so how you are going to uh, do the uh, how you are going to write the commands so there are few tools which uh, doesn't uh, tell you to write a script for but uh, for the source file exe we have to write the command lines and if we have many customization then also we have to write a command line so there are three basic type of scripting which we do it the first one is the batch scripting the second is the vb script and the third one is the partial so there are three types of scripting which i will be discussing in this uh, training and then uh, once you have written the script then you are going to pass this application to either the sccm team or to the intune team or if you are the only responsible one for the deployment so you have to do the deployment so the scripting part uh, there is also a new tool 
through which we can do the scripting. It is PSADT. Uh, it is free of cost, easily available. It is a PowerShell app deployment toolkit. So this toolkit is something that it has a predefined pre set of PowerShell commands. So the one which we are writing in the PowerShell it will be a little bit same, but not exactly same because it has a predefined commands, which is already imported in the tool. So accordingly, uh, it makes us very easier to do it because it provides us few help files through which we have a certain set of commands also so that we can copy that commands and we can do the modification. So this through this, we can also uh, do the scripting part. So now it depends that organization is using with scripting most of the organization as of now they are using vb script or they are using psadt batch is very less but yes it is one part we can say that yes maybe one of the organization would be using it so i will be covering all the three types of scripting with all the basic types of commands how we are going to install an exe application how we are going to install an msi application so that will be covered. Then is the tools, uh, how we are going to do the packaging. So in my training, I will be covering two tools. First is the Orca and the second is the Admin Studio, which is the uh, part of uh, Admin Studio, which is uh, the manufacturer is Flexera and the install shield and repackager is part of the admin studio so this is a license tool but when you do it you get a free license for 21 days so you can do whatever the customization you can prepare your test lab you can practice it i will be there to tell you that how you can practice and all that how to download it everything i will be helping you and you can do the you can create the application you can test it uh, via the scripting and all that so everything will be covered by the project wise then there are few topics with respect to application packaging so i have a presentation for application packaging that i will be showing you which have all the topics required to know to start the application packaging project so this is the content. So all this content will be covered, which has the introduction of install shield and repackager admin studio. Then we have an executable files, which is exe. Then we have an MSI architecture tables and cabinet files, environment variables, upgrade and upgrade table, transforms, active setup and self healing shortcuts, windows installer properties, registry and registry table services, Microsoft App v 5.x, VB script, PowerShell application deployment toolkit, then batch script. And then we have a practice test and interview questions. So at the end, we will be also covering the interview questions. Interview questions will be on the basis of both as per the experience also and as per the regular basis, uh, the scenario based question. So everything is covered in this particular interview question. And at the end is also an MCQ questions, which you will be doing it by yourself so that you can know that how much you have learned about this training and once the training is completed we will be giving you a time of 20 to 30 minutes 20 to 30 days so that you can get prepared you can practice the project and everything the uh, the doing the physical installation so that you can practice in your own system on created setup lab and once that is done we can have a mock interview questions so wherein i will be discussing you and i will be asking you a few interview questions to see that how much you have learned and if you wouldn't be able to give that answers then i would be helping you so that you can learn uh, things which you are getting lacked there so we will be giving you the opportunity so that you can learn more and you can also take out that interview uh, uh, take out the interview if there is any view any interview with respect to application packaging so that is all about the application packaging if you people have any questions please uh, post it in the chat
Okay, so the first question is from Venkat. How long will it take? So it takes mostly around 14 to 16 hours, uh, but it depends up to you also because you, if you need any ex any more time for uh, doing the project thing, means like practicing the creation of the package, then we can give you more coverage of uh, two to three hours. So, but our topic will be covered in 14 to 16 hours. Any other questions? Please go ahead and post it in the chat. Any questions with respect to application packaging you people can ask? It can be simple question. It can be any basic questions. PowerShell script also will cover. Yes, it will be. Uh, we will be also covering the PowerShell script uh, with respect to the application packaging, how we are going to write the commands, how we are going to do the executions as well. I'm an experienced candidate with around two to three years in app packaging and total of eight years experience. Need some interview guidance. Yes, I will be covering that also, Sumit. So no problem with that. We will be covering, like, if you have an experience of two to three years, then we will be giving you more advanced training because as per the experience, obviously, you have a knowledge. So it will be easier also for you to uh, gain knowledge and uh, it will be more interesting for you to learn. Till what date we will get whole session completed? It depends that how, how when you are joining and how we are going to complete. If you want daily session, we can complete soon. If you want weekend session, uh, then we can see that how we are going to cover for the weekend session. Like if you are ready to give three to four hours in a weekend, we are also going to cover it in that way. It totally depends upon your availability and my availability. So that we can discuss it later once you go for the training. Uh, what will be the fee that you can ask Amit from the Joytrace? He will be there to help you. I will give uh, his number at the end of the, the, this session and you can call him and you can discuss about the fees from him. Any more questions? your introduction experience industry so yes yeah i am shreya kalra i'm having 10 plus years of experience in application packaging. Right now, I am working as a freelancer wherein I am giving trainings. I have given training to multiple uh, organizations. For multiple companies, I have worked for giving the corporate trainings, for giving the normal trainings. So I have been working from last five years for giving training. I have given trainings to more than 100 plus patches. So I will be covering all the particular things with respect to the application packaging, the interview questions, the, uh, the scripting part, how we are going to do the applications for different set of EXE, MSI, and the loose files. So all that will be covered here. Any more questions? Uh, Venkat for having eight years of experience, see, uh, it will be either the two times of your salary. And if you're lucky enough, you can also have three times of salary. So the maximum is three, uh, three times of your salary and the minimum is two, uh, two times of your salary. Now it depends upon how you are going to crack the interview and how much the company is going to offer. So when we will be covering the uh, training, I will be 
also telling you that which company can offer you how much of salary and uh, how much you are going to take how much uh, how you are going to take out the interviews and what type of work you, you can get in the service based or in the product based because it works little different in the service based company and the product based company so i will be telling you i will be giving you all that guidance when we will be doing the application packaging training uh, see, is there is no such certification for application packaging. So not, nothing like that is there and you do not you, it is just that your knowledge. So if you have enough knowledge, you don't require anything. It's just that we are working as a person, as a working professional and the uh, the like basically when you are working in the it uh, in the it we are also working with the ticket so the basically few organizations says that you should have a certification of itil but this is not something which is linked to the application packaging it is something so that it is not mandatory also but few companies says that you should have a itil training because you have to be working in the uh, like in the incident and in the change or in the service task because the request will be coming either through this or the three modes and there is will be the response time and the resolution time so that is why they say that you should have a minimum of itl certification nothing more than that for the packaging terms there are no such certification Uh, will you be sharing the PPT as well? Yes. So once the training is completed, I will be sharing you the presentation. I will be sharing you. There are few documents which I will be showing you, which is the part of the training. Uh, I will be sharing you that uh, particular topics and that particular document as well along with that i will be showing you all the uh, types of scripting so it is an exe or it is an msi or a, it is a um, powershell so all type of scriptings which we will be executing during the time of training i will be giving you all that scripts also I will be also sharing you the link to download the application through which you can test it. So there are very various tools or various exe files or MSI files. All that link I will be providing you so that you can create your own test system lab and you can do the uh, execution. Uh, when you will be getting the SCP and PKC video. So once the training is completed and uh, it is completely done, uh, after that I will be uh, zipping all that files because every day how I do it, I create a day one that what are the topics covered in the day one and what are the topics covered in the day two like that. How many number of days, like if you're available for one hour or if you're available for two hours, like that the uh, day wise it will be the schedule will be created. All that I will be giving you and along with that the documents, uh, there are few, uh, like, uh, as I said, they're the, free, they're the complexity of the application, like simple, complex, medium. So how you're going to define that application, that document is there. Then we have a QA document, the checklist of the document, the, uh, the PRF, which is the package request form. So all that I will be giving you so that the person uh, who wants to uh, get this something new to their organization, they can propose it via this document that, yes, this is the document, this can be used and we can start this application packaging uh, project in our company so you can also have their proposal so the documents which i will be giving you that are the professional documents and it will be very useful for you with experience of intune about two years and total it experience about five years how being an application will add to resume and bifurcate from other candidates what salary I should expect now? Any additional advantage? Yes, uh, because we know that uh, Intune has a very great demand in the company. And if you see, you have an experience in Intune and you have an experience of five years. So if you would see that uh, the number of jobs which are available mostly are the combination of the application packaging in Intune. So thus it adds an advantage. And if you have an experience of both with a combination, I can uh, say that you can easily have a three times of your salary. So it is very easy because the companies are giving salary to such people who have a both because the person who has an experience of Intune is also very less and the person having a knowledge of application packaging is also very less. The person with experience of SCCM are 
too many but ssm is going out of the market in few years either it can be four years or five years but it will be going but if you have a combination of both obviously it will add May, uh, it will add many advantages and at the end you are the person who are doing the deployment for intune you are doing the application deployment so if you have the knowledge to get that application rather than the person who is doing the application if you are doing it by yourself obviously it is going to add many advantage any more questions uh will you be will you also help in placement or any consultation consulting see we will be helping you to take out the interview questions i will be sharing the interview questions i will be also explaining you the interview questions now in the terms of placement or consulting we cannot say that this particular organization i can tell you the organization names that yes where and all uh, you can take the interview where it all you can give it you are, i can if you want we can also give an additional benefit by telling you how to create create a resume and how you can apply via nokri or via linkedin but in terms of providing you the placement that we cannot be able to help you it is you it is you how you are going to apply we can give you the guidance of doing the apply and all that but in terms of placement obviously we cannot help what are the basic things to update in intune so with uh, if i see the uh, merging of this intune and uh, intune and application packaging so obviously both are different technology but the person who is doing the application uh, the application is going to deploy via tool so it can be either an ssm tool or it can be a intune tool so in that case the intune comes that if you want to deploy this application to the n number of users so via intune tool you can deploy the application to all the users sorry to interrupt guys salary depends on company demand for the role what's this i just you guys to just focus on technicians i'm senior architect with 16 uh thanks pradeep for your uh, think yes being a senior 16 years of experience is saying you should learn more and more about the technical stuffs and yes application packaging is completely technically it is not something which is non technically so if you do it yeah salary depends on on the company demand but there are many such companies as of now which is giving good salary so if you have more and more knowledge technically if you are if you are uh, able to take out the interview in a very good way and a confident way obviously they will be giving you the good salary i know you are conveying to the participants but i just wanted to make it more aware of that things any more questions we will be there uh, till 6:45 and then we will bind up this demo so if any question any more questions please you can ask it we have three more minutes when is the next session uh, shake you can ask amit you can discuss with him and he can give you an update with respect to the next uh, next session uh, you can discuss with again i'll say you can discuss with amit and he will be notifying you uh, once the batch is created and then accordingly we can start the session any more questions please go ahead and ask uh 
okay so i am posting amit's number so if you want to enroll for this application packaging training you can discuss with him with respect to the time with respect to the session with respect to the fee he will be solving all that queries So Amit's number is 9540662806. You can contact him for the fee and for the training session and all that. And he'll be there to solve your queries. Okay, uh, then there are no more qu qu questions. Then we are going to bind up this session. Anyone who is joining, you are warm welcome. We will.